Hey, it's Wayne Carini from F40 Motorsports and Chasing Classic Cars. And I'm here with a beautiful 1966 300 SE Cabriolet Mercedes-Benz. This is an inline six three liter engine um, with a Borg Warner transmission and it has Bosch mechanical fuel injection. It also has been restored with beautiful um, European style headlights. Every bit of this car has been taken apart and totally restored. Uh, replacement parts are all German replacement parts with certain parts like the air ride system pump, um, which is a Bosch unit being restored by the expert over in Germany that does Bosch um, air components. The fuel injection system, the same thing, restored by the experts over in Germany that the, that the factory uses. All the chrome on the car has been re-chromed just beautifully. I mean, the quality of the chrome is un unsurpassable. We've got a secure it, correct windshield in the car. And as you can see through the windshield, that wood is just phenomenal. You know, the wood was supposedly in just terrific condition before restoration, but that really brings out the rich look of the car. And this car was, was very, very sought after. From 1962 until 67, this car was built, and they built just a little over 700 of these models for worldwide consumption. This car was not imported into the United States, but yet a lot of people brought them in on their own. Cognac leather, this is a two-tone cognac leather, beautiful, supple leather with all the correct um, inserts in it, with the correct stampings. Um, restored the steering wheel. Like I say, every component of this car was restored. Um, it's got a beautiful brown top. It's German uh, uh, material, as well as it has a wool headliner. And, and, and correct, these tops are so intricate to restore with all the correct components with, with the uh, wool headliner, as well as the exterior uh, with the brown um, German top material. Around the back, we've got, uh, of course, these beautiful chrome moldings. Only the 300s had these moldings. The 280s uh, didn't have those. Back of the car is, is, again, phenomenal. We've got a rear center fuel. And it, every component, uh, it's, it's hard to describe. You know, when people are restoring cars, they don't go and do every, everything, unless it's going to places like Pebble Beach or Villa Dest. This car is, is like that. Um, it's been restored to that type of a level. Uh, we're going to open the trunk and show you too. We've got wonderful fitted luggage in the car. Um, again, with the oatmeal carpeting on the floor. Raiderstein um, tires, the correct tires, the 14 inch tires on the car um, all around, which is a great tire for cruising. It's a wonderful, wonderful tire. Um, the, the exhaust is totally replaced, the correct tips on the back. I'm going to close the trunk and we'll walk around this side. Brand new Mercedes-Benz hubcaps, again painted the correct anthracite color um, in the filler in the middle. This wonderful leather um, top boot, it just makes the car look so rich. And then we'll, uh, we're going to open the door here and we're going to show you the inside. So again, that beautiful oatmeal um, tweed or um, material that's used for the carpeting, all, all leather bound. The seats were totally disassembled, bead blasted, and then powder coated. You can see the wonderful chrome. These were cars that were handmade, not like we see today. You can see the thickness of the seat and look, look at how thick that seat is. Um, just a comfortable, comfortable car. Power windows. Um, these are the vent windows, so you can open this, open the vent window. People say uh, the vent windows are actually better than air conditioning. This car did not come with air conditioning, but it's something that could be added at a later time. So every component of the car, the suspension, the brakes, the brake lines, um, everything was either rebuilt or replaced on the car by craftsmen too. So you can take a car to a, a restoration shop and maybe they restore muscle cars or maybe they restore modern uh, exotics, but the people that restored this car know these cars inside and out and know what to do. We're gonna open the hood and show you the quality of the engine compartment.
Most people don't want to show you their engine compartment because it's so dirty and not done properly. You're going to see every component of this, all the plating, um, all the plating that's done correctly with all the uh, correct colors. This is our pump for the uh, air ride system. Again, we've got our mechanical fuel injection system here, um, a Bosch battery right down to the battery. So not, not cutting any corners at all in this car. We have a power steering reservoir here. And uh, of course there's the air plenum over there. So just a beautiful job. The, the uh, dashboard, um, this is the sound deadening as well as it keeps the heat out of the uh, cockpit. So all of that, the correct materials. Now this car runs and drives as good as it looks. And so we're gonna go out and do a little test drive with it here. We gotta push this this handle in just a bit because it pulls out make sure that handles pulled in and then the hood will close 100 percent properly car starts beautifully correct becker europa engine uh, radio if you ever you want to take a car for a cruise on a nice day like today this is the car one thing about driving a restored car sometimes it's not sorted out and it won't drive or shift properly. Sometimes you go on a back road like this and you hit a bump. There's a rattle or a clunk. This is absolutely perfect. It's been very well sorted out. You can see the steering wheel is perfectly straight, not pulling left or right. This 300 SC is a very late model and it has a three position air ride system. The lower control sets it at normal ride height for driving down the highway. The center position you put it in when you want to service the car and the technician has to put the arms of the lift underneath the car so it raises it up slightly to do that. And then there's an off-road position if you're going into a field, let's say at a polo match or at a car race or something like that, and you have to park the car out in the field and you don't want the underside dragging on the grass, you put it in the upper position, it would raise it to that level uh, for driving. But the car can be driven in any of these modes on the street. Shifts beautifully. I must say, it's probably one of the nicest driving Mercedes I've ever driven. It just feels solid. Especially in a convertible, you hit a bump and cars can shake and the whole windshield can shake. I mean, these cars were really built properly from the factory and then when it's correctly restored, it really shows. Great oil pressure, our temperature's coming up. All the gauges too were, were totally restored, so uh, restored from great gauges, but everything was sent out. That's why there's nothing that was overlooked on the restoration of the car. Everything was done correctly, using all the correct components and all the correct restoration uh, facilities that uh, did a great job. And, mechanical fuel injection, the brake system, the gauges, the radio, just every component of the car works properly and, and it shows the quality of the restoration. What a great ride.